again to another episode of There's a Place, the show that explores the connection between mind and personality and your feelings and, and uh, you know, just having a good time, all that stuff. Uh, if this is your first time watching the show, welcome. I'm really excited. We have uh, someone who um, 
I've known my entire uh, professional life anyway. He gave me my start on public access television on Let's Paint TV, John Kilduff, so I'm really excited about uh, talking to him. But before that, um, you know, I just like to talk about what's on my mind and, and things like that. This week I was driving around Inglewood and I happened upon somebody's house where they took, it was this like kind of old 20s, 30s style um, a mission Spanish architecture kind of thing and in the front you know they, they have like the, uh, the the French doors the, they were glass and he had replaced this with a it looked professionally done it didn't look homemade but he replaced it with a life-size stained glass representation of the uh, African Egyptian king and queen you've probably seen this image before it's like um, Isis or I, I forget her name but it's like the they're very dark Egyptians and they've got the hieroglyphics and stuff. And then above that, he had also on stained glass, he had written, remember the time. And I was just thinking, that is such delusional thinking. Like Egyptians and, and Africans, like, yeah, Egypt is in Africa, but they're like kind of different things. And you know, the stuff that they're associating a lot of times, hundreds, thousands of years apart, but also just the notion of, yes, remember a time that we were all kings, well, a handful of people, and then everyone else was slaves. That's, that's part of the deal. You know, there were a couple kings in Egypt and the pyramids and all that, but you know, a good, good portion of the people were slaves. Uh, also, also African were the slaves. Uh, and then, you know, just as look what happened right after that, I was at the record store and I saw this really cool LP, spoken word. I don't collect spoken word, I didn't buy it. I, thought better of it, but it was uh, an LP put out by the Rosicrucians called Achieving Cosmic Consciousness. And if you don't know about the Rosicrucians, they're kind of like the Freemasons, but they're even more into ancient Egypt. And just that, that coincidence of things, I was just kind of wondering, what made the Egyptians so smart? Why does everybody love them? Just because they, they were into cats. Maybe that's it. They see a parallel, because in our own society, we, uh, we're kind of obsessed with cats. I don't know if you've been on the internet lately, but it's, it's very uh, feline-centric society, uh, and the Egyptians seem to be the first to do that. But I, d I don't understand why people look for meaning uh, it, with the Egyptians. Of all the ancient, the Egyptians and the Mayans are so popular. I don't understand that. Um, but, you know, I do understand the, the quest for greater meaning in life and things like that. And um, you know, for me, anyway, I think that these lessons that philosophers and scientists, you know, these questions they're trying to answer, all manifest themselves just like they do in nature in art and in self-expression. And so to do something like that, just to put yourself out there and do that, is really, um, it, it, it's, it's seeking, you know, it's, it's looking to, uh, look to a deeper place in your soul. And so that's why I'm very excited to welcome my guest tonight. He's been on public access for many, many years, uh, maybe longer than I've been alive. We'll talk about that tonight. He does a great show called Let's Paint TV. It's on the internet now. He kind of um, kind of went viral a little bit, and I'm really excited to talk to them. So please welcome my guest tonight, John Kilda. John. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good. I can barely hear you. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. It's all right, dude. So is this about kind of talking? Yeah, you know, just however you feel comfortable. Okay. It's just, you know, that's how I, I'm feeling at the, at the oh, moment today. It's good to so, see you, John. Nice seeing you again, too. Yeah, you I, look uh, uh, spry. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I drank so much coffee today. Did you? I, you ever have a day like that? I, I'm working on those kind of days. I'm doing a lot of coffee. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, you will, you'll, I'll like you have like a binge of coffee. I just drink a lot. <laughs> just, well, I, I try to, you know, I, mean, I don't feel so bad, you know, because... I feel I feel bad if I drink a lot of beer, you know. I oh, always yeah. feel guilty. A lot of whiskey. Well, yeah, that's that goes without saying. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but um, yeah, no. So I'm but I'm also just excited to see you and have you. Uh, I always uh, I always try to get you involved in my projects. Yeah, yeah. Well, that last project was a little something. I mean. Which one? The Viper we, video. Uh, no, the uh, the whole thing about climbing up the Empire State Building. Uh, that that was kind of a little much, but with. with uh, Yes, yes, I remember that. Sucker, mm -hmm. you know, those little... Th Suction cups. Su uh, yeah, plungers. Plungers, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised you're having so much trouble remembering. Wow. Well, 
was a, it was a little difficult. It hit your head. I, I remember you trying feeling. to trying to not remember that. Kind okay. Of stuff. Well, we don't have to talk about that. We could. Uh, so yeah. I like. Um, I was going to actually tell you we were corresponding over Facebook. Um, but I was going to tell you, be like, I was, you know, I was going to. Uh, I was wondering if you're going to wear your paint suit, kind of like your signature yeah. outfit. And I was going to say, don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah. And so when you showed up, I was like, oh, he's just in jeans and a t-shirt. Like, he's casual. Yeah. Like, that's good. That's kind of like the vibe we go for around here. But then I noticed that your pants were covered in paint because you are a painter, as we'll talk yes. about. Yes. But are all of your clothes covered in paint? Like, is that? Uh, pretty much. Uh, but every year I get a new supply, like a new sweater, uh, maybe a pair of pants, maybe for like Christmas. You know, as gifts, and then slowly but surely, they always everyone says, "No, don't get any paint on that." They still, you know, still tell me that to this day. Do you have paint on everything you own? Uh, even my underwear. <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking about clothes and stuff like this. Uh, the I, uh, how far the refrigerator the flex door, get? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. The, it carries everywhere. Yeah, so certain colors are more uh, fugitives, uh, kind of. Uh, 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 what's his name? The guy who crashed his airplane? Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, uh, the fugitive. Uh, Alizarin Crimson and uh, Thalo Green. One armed man. Those guys are, are just, they, they go forever. You get a little bit of that somewhere and it's just. Do you think it's because you use those colors more? No, it's just, it's just the properties of, the, uh, of, the, uh, of that particular paint. It's a. Uh, uh, one of those deals. What kind of paints do you use? Do you use oil paints? Mostly do, oil. right? Yeah. yeah. That's what, like, that's like the most highbrow paint, you would say, right? Highbrow? Yeah, like the most, uh, like, professional paint. It's, like, legitimate. It yeah, it's the most like legitimate paint. you important or yeah. something. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Because acrylic you know, paint I is real, you know. Kind of cheesy. Cheapy. A little bit, but. The neon ones you get in the big two, I mean. Yeah, but it's. Any way you want to express it's yourself, like the old that's masters, cool, but. The old masters uh, these would oils use oils, but. You know, now, now you, it doesn't matter, I, but I, I, I kind of bought into that. Yeah. I, in fact, I just bought some acrylic paint. I haven't used it yet, though. See, but you haven't used that. I haven't used it. I haven't used it. But I've been, I'm, I got it there waiting. I'm not afraid of it. Not afraid. Don't be afraid. Okay. Is there anything paint-wise you are afraid of that you uh, would never use? Watercolors? Do you use those? I, I'll use watercolors, yeah. I, I'm uh, pretty inept at that. Crayon? Crayon is not that much fun. It's not. Crayon sucks. Sharpie. Do you like Sharpies? Sharpies are good. You know what I like? I them? think Sharpies are cool. Sharpies are good. Ballpoint pens. Yes. Just straight up the pen you find and, and on typing paper. I don't know if you call that. Any, what do you, you don't call it typing paper. It's white paper. White paper? Is that what they sell at the store? It's not typing paper. Maybe that's what it's called. Is it called but computer I just like, paper? I call it, yeah, maybe. Printer Sh paper. Printer paper. That's what it's called. Scratch paper. Anyway, ballpoint pen paper. on that is, that's, uh, the, for me, that's the best, th that is the, uh, I could probably, you know, spend the re last days of my life just doing stuff with ballpoint pen. And do you ever do that now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You should, you should post some of those. I feel like uh, I well, haven't seen as many of them. I just did a whole uh, little deal uh, on eBay. I sold, I, had, I did a hundred drawings in a day. Uh, and they had some special on eBay that you could list, uh, a hundred items a day for like eight days, and so I was going to go. Okay, I got to put a bunch of stuff on. So I, I, I only did two hundred. I was like enough because it's just going through the whole trouble. So I posted. I did one day, and then I, I don't know if I went the next day, two days in a row. Basically, I did two hundred drawings, ballpoint pen, real quick, you know. So you mentioned, so when you heard about this deal, the special eBay was having. Yes. It, it seems like your initial reaction was like, oh, I got to maximize that. I like, got to yes. do it the most. Yes. That kind of seems to be your approach to a lot of things, the way you like run on the treadmill yeah. and paint and try to multitask I, while you paint. Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not. Uh, you were at the public I'm not, access I'm not studio. I'm content just uh, being normal or. or well, that uh, goes without saying. Uh, but, or or, or uh, at ease. I'm not, I, I feel like I need to run and go. You know, and just do yeah. the, the most of something. Yeah, uh, more is, is, is more. More is more. Well, more, there's, there's something within the more. Uh, something, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a good, there's some good stuff in that more. I think people rely too much on that less is more adage, which is, is valid, but I think people are too tentative 
so they don't do anything, and then they go, oh, this is more. It's, whereas if you do a whole bunch of stuff, you, you can you then look back and you go, hey, that's so, not bad. That's so, not bad. Like, it's, it's different approaches. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, I, I think it changes. I mean, sometimes I, I can slow it down. Is there a medium too, or is it just the two extremes? Uh, the medium, uh, because there's you know there's on the one spectrum there's less is more you know very you know tasteful and in and, and, and you know like you play you know it's very carefully planned out and stuff yeah and then you have on your end of it like being very prolific, just mm. always like being a factory always churning things out yeah. but then what is the middle? Just somewhere in between. Just, I don't know. Is that, I mean, but is that good or bad? Is there a good side of the is middle? That, is, that, is the middle bad? I don't know. Yeah. It could be. Or is it neutral? Well, I, I think... Uh, and you just yeah, tune all I, those things out. I think it, 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 it uh, you know, it's like a, a pachinko palace ball thing and the ball bounces on a, a very, the full spectrum of possibilities between slow, within, fast, medium. Within all. It, it, it just, wherever the ball bounces, it's not a... It's not a set thing. Like if, if I, you know, if I could manufacture what is success, uh -huh. uh, believe me, I think we all would try to capitalize on it. Uh, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I just, so so I, I go up and down, up and down. And, this uh, happens. Something happens. Works in a slow mode or in a fast mode. So uh, I did something today. Let's see uh, how into public. Let's see if you salivate. Okay. Over this. Went to the Pasadena Public Access Station today. Oh wow! And sat through one of those orientations. Oh wow! You know, one of those two-hour yeah. orientations. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, talking? Yeah. Yeah. I went with my friend who just moved to Pasadena. I was like, "Oh, you got to go with me." Yeah, yeah. And I knew he was going to hate it. Yeah. But aren't those classes the worst? Uh, Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I've sat through at least a couple of them. <laughs> and all the people in the classes. Yeah. If you're not uh, familiar with public access. Uh, like uh, veterans, like John and Can I we are. Look somewhere? Am I supposed to look at something over here? No, no, no. Just am look, I just looking at you? Look within yourself. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not really certain what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, that's cool. Uh, but if you're uh, if you're familiar with public access, they make you. Oh, look! There I am. I didn't even know I had my yeah. opportunity to look at myself. Huh. Okay. Watch you having out. a good time? Watch out. Do you like this room that we're in? Uh, this is really great. Yeah. It, uh, I feel like. Uh, Doing some uh, bong hits or something Ooh. in this space, right? Okay. Drinking some uh, old English 800. 800. Yeah. Do you, is, that, is that your normal uh, vibe? <laughs> no, I don't know. Just I'm getting that feel right. But now. just being here, that's just, how you're uh, feeling. Just with this atmosphere. Have you ever done that before? What 800? Yeah, I drink old English. I might have. I might have tried it. It's pretty <sighs> nasty stuff. You might have tried it. I might have tried it once. And then what happened when you tried it? I, I didn't like it. What made you try it that one time? Uh, it was available. But nobody ever has that. Like, yet something you had to buy. It's in like a serving for one. Well, uh, you know, uh, Schlitz malt liquor. You ever tried that? Oh, I love Schlitz. Yeah. How about Rainer Ale? Rainer from Pacific Northwest. Yeah. yeah. Rainer Ale. Mm -hmm. Not just Rainer, but the ale. Yeah. Ooh. Genesee from upstate New York. No, I don't know. That. They their slogan is "Do you know the Genesee secret?" No, oh, Genesee secret. Yo, check this out. There's one I bought at the 99 cent store. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah. Beer 30. Beer 30. Because you go, hey, John, what time is it? It's uh, beer 30. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> time for a beer 30. It was cool. Yeah? Yeah. So do you get a lot of beer at the 99 cent store? Well, now they have... You live right by the 99 cent store, yeah, right? You I, go there a lot, right? I, I try not to. It's the best store. I don't know. It's so good. I'm not certain about that. Well, I buy my... Uh, best thing I get out there at the 99 cent store is the... Uh, uh, packing tape. If you can get it, the clear packing tape, it's a little cheaper quality, but it, you can use more of it. So be a little more liberal with it. And uh, I use that to ship uh, all my, uh, you know, important From million Club dollar 99. masterpieces. Because <laughs> it, it, it's ninety nine cents. I mean, if you, a packing tape. I, are we on the street? Should we? Should we maybe? Get off the street, or are we okay? This is no, this is all right. We're all right. Yeah. We having a block party or something? This is yeah. The world is. I, a I block. like this posture. It's sort of. Yeah. I think the seat kind of makes. It's very. It's very encourages ohm. me to do very this. Ohm. Um. I don't think I can do that. Okay. I, I feel uh, somewhat uh, restricted with this uh, microphone. It's a wireless microphone. Yeah, but it's uh, the little battery is sticking into my gut. Oh. Like a, Someone's got a gun in my gut. You spend all the time on that treadmill. 
Well, I still got a gut. So I'm drinking all that beer. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of beer? Uh, man, it's, uh, it depends. It depends on how hot it is. Okay. Yeah, if it's really hot, uh, I will go with the, you know, Coors Light, Miller Light. I like Miller Light. <laughs> that's the one. That's Miller not, Light? Or? That's cool too, but Miller yeah. Light? Just light? It's, yeah. it's, cause, uh. Less filling? Yeah, well, it's because Bud Bud Light and Budweiser are everywhere. Yeah. I just realized I like what, like you ever seen that movie They Live? Yeah. Like I just put the sunglasses on. Yeah. And I just realized everything was everyone was a Bud or a Bud Light. It was this yeah. like crazy dystopian world where it was just at every sporting event, yeah, yeah, every yeah. bar. It was just well, they're constantly. the kings. They're the kings. It's okay stuff, but yeah. but then I realized that the alternative to that was Miller Light, which is probably also the same garbage, but yeah, but just something about it being like an alternative but anyway the complaint about that yeah. stuff is is that it tastes like water mm -hmm. you know with bubbles but i like, I like water. seltzer water i like water i like water and i like seltzer water so it's it's a good mix and you get a little buzz off it uh but you know like when it's winter time uh, i'll go for a little more of a little more of you know one of those craft beers isn't that, that nice stuff some of that nice stuff and break down and not into, i'm not into you nice stay stuff. out of that stuff huh? well you know you gotta fit in yeah. so if i go out and they have it i'll have it yeah but you know, if I had my druthers, it would be all you know, old there's English. There's nothing worse than seeing uh, these kind of quasi craft beers that are like trying to fool you. Yeah, oh, that's oh. the worst. They'll, they'll, they'll stay away from that. If you're going to get a craft beer, you, you've got to almost research, uh, find out if it's really a, a really a, a craft beer that's like any good. You almost have to go and Google it. Like, is if this it's bullshit got, or if it's got I mean, alcohol in it? Hey, I'm just trying to catch a buzz. Oh, is that, okay. I mean, that's my feeling of it. Like, what, what do you think about flavored beers? Do you like that? I mean, if it has beer in it, I guess I'm cool with oh, that. Okay. So, do you like but, flavored uh, coffee drinks? No, not at all. Yeah. So well, you know, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm not into flavored beers. Yeah, I'm not me either. The beer part of it, I think, is what maybe kind of. I called the one eight hundred number on some flavored beer once just to complain. I'm like, <laughs> what the hell is this about? They were like blueberry beer or something. Like, <laughs> Sir, is that how it went? We like syrup. Yeah, no, no. But how how did the phone call go? Here, let's want to do a little, want to do a little role playing. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So you'll be you. All right. And I'll be the. Um, well, I probably had a couple of beers in there already. <laughs> so you had a couple beer. of them. Well, I had some. Uh, okay. Excuse the French. Well, maybe I should be you, and you should be the call person, because I don't know what they said. So yeah, okay, well, I don't okay. even know what they said. So, so long. Ago. Okay. Never yeah, mind. It wasn't like What's last week. Or but but uh, did they send you any coupons or? Yeah, I think they did try to uh, appease my my. Yeah, that's that's a good thing to do though, is to complain. You can get a lot of good stuff complaining. What was the best thing you ever got from complaining? Uh, my uh, uh, one one of the one of the greatest things that I ever got was uh, complaining about my uh, phone made answering machine. The uh, the little battery charger stopped working. You know the, the little AC adapter. They sent me a new one. That's. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was pretty. You've got power, man. You've got. You've really got a sway with uh, that clever. I, I felt really like I, won. You know, gained the system. Oh. Did you ever get? Uh, I prefer the opposite approach. I try just getting hooked up places, like What's getting that? stuff for free. Uh, you know, somebody, sometimes somebody likes you. Like they'll just like give you something for free, like free French fries. Or oh, like, oh, I see. So you're you're into. The, a more interpersonal, like a little, yeah, like interstellar a little, kind of move. Like having it, yeah, that's a cool move. Do you have anybody like that? Who, any no, businessmen that? Uh, it's been a while. Was, I okay. think I've. I've, I've uh, Do you ever hook anyone up? Uh, I just hook them up with the creativity kind okay. of stuff. Okay, got know? it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. If we do, we all do what we can. I think we, we all we all uh, need to find something uh, uh, something in our lives to uh, give to others, and, uh, and then my goal, my my mission is is to give off the creativity vibe. What was you definitely do? You live it. Uh, I, I mean, with the various I, incarnations of your show. Somewhat, yeah. I don't think I'm. I'm well aware that I don't always uh, fulfill that purpose uh, to the utmost degree. But did you do anything before public access? Did you were on like college radio or? Yeah. Like, did you drama in school or? No, no. But you did do college radio. No, no, you didn't. My brother did. Though. Okay. My brother did college radio, um, but I uh, I did not do it. I did as an undergrad. I took like video classes, 
Because like, so you already kind of had that interest, but yeah. did you like draw comic books when you did were a kid? Did not draw no. comic books. So public access was really public access was your my first uh, kind of jumping off point into sort of the performance aspect. Uh, I played a lot of sports before, I guess. Yeah, really, I, I wouldn't have you picked as an athlete. Uh, what yeah. sports do you like? Uh, well, you know, I mean, I you know, football, baseball, basketball. There's the you standard American stuff. Yeah. Do you follow sports? Uh, not so much. Yeah. No. See, that's what it is. Well, no, I used to. As a and kid. you got out of sports. Well, uh, what do you mean out of sports? Well, just not you aren't into them anymore. Well, I mean, I still keep an idea on what's going on. You know, what I mean, I, but like, do you watch basketball when it's on? No, not really. No. But I mean, okay, I watch it maybe like if it's going to be the championship game or something, mm -hmm. or. Uh, particularly basketball, like the last quarter or the last couple of minutes of the game is really kind of the best part if you're going to watch them. I think it should only be three minutes. It the whole should. Game. It should because you know, and even football. And only too, one game. It always comes down to. It, particularly, they they work it so that it comes down to like, uh, you know, the last, you know, pass, and that and that that team wins or they lose, and that's just do it that just one pass, boom, you catch it. You make it that down, that's it. You win, you lose. But to make it exciting, maybe the losing quarterback dies. Oh, okay. No, not the quarterback. Quarterback's too valuable. Just yeah. one of like, the side players who'd probably yeah. get injured in anyway, get out of the league anyway. You could, I suppose. They get put to death. Put them to death. The high stakes. Then, then, you know, I mean, that probably wouldn't be a... I mean, I guess we would watch it. We, we'd watch it, but uh, not so sure that's a good idea. How do you feel about the football team that's going to come to L.A.? I don't think it's happening. You don't think it's happening? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I, I don't. Honestly, I could care less. I, so hope I don't it, care. Really. I hope it doesn't happen. I kind of hope it doesn't either. But uh, it sounds like they're kind of trying to make it work. The, uh, I guess there's, I, I'm really glad they're not putting one downtown, the stadium downtown. Mm -hmm. Downtown LA is getting out of hand. It's crowded now. And, and now they're building more, forget it. And now you got to, anytime you have to like go through downtown on the freeways, pff, forget it. And it's in the, but the stuff that they're building is the same garbage they have in every other part of town. What's that? The well, just like that, like the, like these, there's called like a festival center, these like promenade kind of things yes. in a movie theater. Yeah, they have the city walk or something. It's, there's so, the Americana, there's something, I, I, the tastes I, change every 10 years, there's onto a new I, style. Yes, well, they just remodel it. It's just like it's Ar just you just get an architect in there and they you know jazz it up or whatever. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, uh, wait, do we need more of this stuff? Well, I mean, they they seem to people. You got to remember, popular culture is what you know is what fuels the uh, the economy, and and so the, like there are hordes of people just sort of, and they're happy. These people are happy doing that. You know, going down City Walk or whatever it's called, promenade or whatever. It's not fun. I mean, I kind of am envious of people that can have such a fun time doing that kind of stuff because there's plenty of opportunities for these kind of things. I don't know where they have the money to, to spend. I guess they don't. They just, that's what's credit card, that's what a credit card is for. It's this whole I think system of, of slavery they're all in. Uh, no, no, because you just, you just call, claim bankruptcy or whatever. I don't know. You just figure that out. Just, but then you can't get more credit cards. So then you have to live like a human being. No, you just get your credit back again. You get like some $250 some credit card thing where you just give them to, I don't know. Do you, you don't you know? slowly build up your credit or something. I don't know. I mean, I think yeah. people do that all the time, right? I know that's a big problem. I don't mess with that. I don't gamble. Yeah. And I don't, I consider huh? it the same thing. The money oh. I take very seriously. Okay. It's, it's yeah. like, I, so like credit card and yeah. all the fees they just add up, just wasted yeah, well, money. I, I, yeah, you don't want to get stuck on that. But so it's, you, if you could spend that to, on uh, another one of your habits. Yeah. If you're smart. I suppose. By a, a oil paint. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a, it, it is sort of an, a, painting is sort of a strange addiction, but it's, uh, but I feel like I got a, a real red cheeks going on in my face. <laughs> A lot of red. I mean, we need to powder me up or something, right? Okay. What uh, what two colors would you mix together to get that shade that of red? That is a na na naphthalol red or whatever right there. Well, I don't know. I don't. I can't pronounce it. Na naphthalol? It's, uh, Daffodils. It's, yeah, it's like, it's it's a kind of a cheap paint. Instead of getting a cadmium red, it's like a... 
synthetic made up red. What's cadmium? Cadmium is some uh, expensive paint that is uh, cancerous, but it's uh, old world, it's like from the old school. People, people like, uh, it's, it's a real rich red. And then there's, yeah, and there's like people the cobalt like blue. Cobalt blue. Those are yeah. the standard ones. I took one art class. Uh, did you? I did Santa Monica College, and I failed it. The guy failed me. What? Really? Yeah. What was his name? Uh, Jerry Vasich. I don't know. I've never heard of him. But uh, he failed you. Huh? Why, why did, you, did you go to the class? I did go to the class, but I would leave early, uh -oh. which he never said was because it was just whatever time, and I preferred to work at home by myself uh, because it's like... I would have failed you, too. You would have? No, I don't You had know. to go to the thing? Well, did you, what kind of work did you provide? I would have gave you a D or something, right? Yeah, no, I got a, a D. I like it. Yeah, in really? art school, yeah. Yeah, the guy Those hated people. It. Yeah, I think because no, because he had another kid that he picked on yeah. first, and then that guy dropped the class. He's uh, like, so he just was hates out me. for you. I think so. Yeah, yeah. This guy was out for me too, and he gave me a D. Doesn't that happen? Yeah. Everyone will be like, oh, well, yeah, right. Like everyone kind of takes that stance of like, well, he's the teacher. He only picked on you. Sometimes yeah. they do that. I I think so. It's just. Uh, it's just reality. It's, it's kind of the messed up reality that we live in, just life. Jerks. Yes. And, uh, mean people. They don't know they're being mean, though. That's, you know, I mean, if, you, if we talked to that guy, he'd probably be like, well, you were mean to me. Yeah. And he breaks down and starts crying. And, <laughs> and then you feel, we'll feel, we got to feel bad. For yeah, him we now. should really talk it out. Yeah. We'll go and rate my teacher, look him up. We could, we could ring, can we call him right now? Because that would. Can I get the phone weird. hooked yeah. up? Do, can we take phone calls? It's a little late. Someday, in like the future. A, I feel like a bug now. It's yeah. a bug's life. Do you like that movie? I don't think I ever saw it. Did you see Ants? What the is it? The Woody Allen version no. of a Bug's Life? No. He didn't write it or anything, but he stars in it. Oh, does he like do some voiceover? <laughs> I, know, I, oh, I hate being an ant. It's so bad. It's a real weird uh, movie. No, I did not. Uh, maybe Helen Hunt is in it too. Oh, okay. It's CGI. All right. Um, weird, weird one. Yeah. Came out a little bit before Bugs Life. Yeah, no, I'm I missed on that. I I don't see too many movies. I kind of get that impression. <laughs> uh, I did. You know what? I I did when I was a kid. You know, I I saw plenty of movies, and I burned out on them. I realized how they were always kind of crappy. If you get addicted to watching a whole bunch of movies, as they come out, you realize how bad a lot of them can be really bad. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like if you smoked a whole pack of cigarettes, you just kind of go, oh. And then now you don't, you know. I think every kid growing up should just be given a pack of cigarettes and told to smoke the whole pack like in an hour, just constantly. And then they would just, they like, they would not want to smoke cigarettes ever again. Don't you think a certain percentage of people, though, would still love it? They'd be <laughs> yeah, like, this probably. is great. No, it's probably, it's probably true. And then, and then one or two might actually die <laughs> from it, you know, like right then and there. And you'll probably, people would hate you. There'd be a lot of hate mm -hmm. going on. So. Can't do that. But I love your idea of making kids smoke an entire pack of cigarettes. Yeah, okay, let's strike that idea. No, it's fun. No, it's a neat idea, it's but a, I, I believe kids don't do this. Kids that are too soft. No, no I just... They have I allergies. Just, I, they need I, to... I just think that that's what... That's how I didn't get, you know, pursue smoking cigarettes, because I ended up smoking like a whole pack once, just like within an hour or something. I was just... just uh, At what age was that? Uh, I don't know, 12 or something. <laughs> it's too young. 13 or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think this is a good plan. Yeah. Let's do it. I, no, I, I mean, I don't recommend that, kids. But um, I do. I do recommend it. I think it's a great idea. No, don't do that. Okay. Well, it's just different. No, different. it's just what it's, it's my, my, my personal experience. And, uh, well, don't, don't you want to be like Sean? Huh? Don't, people probably want to be like you. I mean, they, I think it's well, a good I, example. I don't think anyone really wants to be like me, but, uh, but, but uh, I, I definitely do not want to encourage uh, underage anything. Um, underage creativity. Uh, no, there's no, there's no substitute for experience, though. Well, let, wait, let them figure it out. You, 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 know, you, dip, you know, you don't want to. That's, you know, it's the great things. What's that? That's a great thing is you just agree with people we have different points. Yeah, okay. Why not? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hmm. Uh, is there a commercial break coming up or something? No, 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 no. Why? We, we just, 
Do you know uh, Hugh Hauser had a show called On the Bench? Oh, you see that? <laughs> yeah. That is the best television show I've ever seen. Okay, did you see the one we went to the park? <laughs> no, I don't recall seeing too many. I just remember. Do you remember it was on? He thought it was. I, a, remember, I asked I him about it. Had a show. It's called The Bench. The Bench. The bench. This, is, this is like pretty. Uh, no, I went. We went. My roommate and I uh, went to the Hillhauser exhibit that they opened in Orange County. Okay. And where, where? Oh, Chapman Call? <laughs> it's in the basement. They have a shirt. In the basement. <laughs> they have his shirt, and yeah. they have his camera and his microphone. Yeah. And the archivist, Rand Boyd, is not a Hillhauser fan, oh. which is funny. Like he kind of likes him, yeah. but he's like, he's not like Gaga about him, like yeah. a lot of Californians are. Yeah. So it's actually he's a good choice for the position. I see. But um. But we asked him about the bench. He's like, "Oh, you will consider that show a failure." Oh, really? But I thought it was the best. It was so emotional. Huh? I never saw enough of it to really. It was. They were all. I might have saw one. I was like, "What is this on a bench?" And it was like. He would just go to like a because you know yeah. when he go to a place of note. Yeah. He would go to a place and talk to people. Yeah. This time he'd go to a place of no note yes. and talk to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the but like yeah. there was one we went to like the Redondo Pier or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so that was just like tourist. That was a little more like a regular yeah. sort of hill. But there's one where he went to the park that's in, I don't even know what you call that neighborhood, on uh, Van Ness and Beverly, like kind of greater Koreatown area, kind of near Larchmont. Yeah. Real intersection of- Filipino town? No. no. Not really. Koreatown? Kind some, of. Some kind of town. Yeah. Um, Armenian? Gra no. Gramercy Park, some name like that maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Hancock. But further north, it's a, but it's this real like intersection uh, okay. of cultures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this one, like he's just going around, and it was all the people who were just hanging out in the park in the middle of the day. Yeah, yeah. So it was a group of people who were studying to be chiropractors, oh, and yeah. they had a final in there studying yeah. and that. And then he he goes to a guy who's you know with his granddaughter, and he's from like Armenia or whatever, and he's with his granddaughter, he's, like having a great yeah, time. Yeah. But then it'll be someone Sounds who like just like you. Love. There was a group of guys though that were there like eating a hot and ready. They're eating the hot and ready. He's like, now what are you all doing? And they're like, oh, we had community service. We're picking up trash and this is our lunch break. And so he'll like squats down because they're just like sitting on the grass and he squats down. He's like, now what were you doing to get the community service? And the guy's like, hey, you know, driving without insurance, uh, second time, so like a bunch of community service. And he was just like, now you know you weren't supposed to be doing that. Now you are. But, then the, but then the guy's like, yeah, I mean, it's expensive though. Life's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, he's right. Yeah. It was. I think it was a little too dark for Huel. Huh. Did you ever see the Huel Eagles reunion concert? No. He goes to uh, Irvine Meadows. Yeah. And uh, he goes and sees the Eagles. Yeah. And Glenn Fry is in it. Yeah. And uh, a lot of the Eagles. You don't seem too impressed. You don't like the Eagles? <laughs> no, yeah, I don't follow that stuff. The Eagles? <laughs> They have two California albums that sold. Hotel or something. <laughs> California Hotel by the Birds. No, no, Hotel California. Yeah. That, was that the Eagles? Yeah. No. They have two records that sold over 20 million copies. So uh, I guess yeah, one I, was not to you. Not, not to me. I, I, I don't follow it. <laughs> you don't like music? Are you, are you one of those kind uh, of music, people? Music's fine, but I, I just don't like Fine. <laughs> Some people don't like music. It's it's crazy uh, to me. I, I'm all right with music. I just Not don't crazy. have any particular. What, what's your big music? Are you into like? Uh, I love rock and roll. You're just like straight up old rock and roll. Oh yeah, I'm crazy about it. Like, well, what's your what what's your beef? What is your my beef? No, no. What's your uh, sauerkraut? What do you what do you get into? Oh, what do I like? Yeah, what's your? Well, beef? I like the Beatles, the, obviously. Oh, okay, Beatles. I like Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry. I like Thin Lizzy. Thin Lizzy. I like the Ramones. I think okay. all sorts of groups. All right, well, well I, I love, I, I love I good old-fashioned like rock and roll. I don't know about Thin Lizzy. That, not sure about that. Really? They'd have to play some some Thin Lizzy. Boys Are Back in Town. Do you know that song? Okay, I guess that's all right. That's their only hit, but, like, oh, okay. a lot of their songs were, like, their kind of vibe was on their album How covers. the Grammys? And they opened up with the Grammys, and they had, like, ELO or something. The Grammys are so that? hurt. It was so weak. It was like, they were so old playing, and they looked sad. It wasn't very good. The Grammys are interesting to me because, yeah. like, the Academy Awards, well, yeah, the best movies are usually nominated. If they don't win, they're at least nominated. The Emmys, shows that aren't even popular, will get win awards because people know that they're the best. And then, you know, like, Arrested Development, they'll get canceled, whatever like that. The, the Grammys, Emmys, yeah. the Grammys do not reflect what's good in music at all. 
all. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, you don't know about music, but it's like not <laughs> even like... I'm not saying I don't know about music. I just, I don't really, you know... It's not, it's like not yeah. like what's like culturally relevant or... Uh, it's... I, I, I'm okay with it. I, I like more... Uh, I, I have sort of an anti-popular culture thing in a sense. I, I have a hard time. Why is uh, that? I think I was just sort of raised on that. Just sort of like, you know... Uh, Took to, it was taken off, to, taken off into the, uh, you know, off to the woodshed and uh, you know, beaten all the popular culture out of me or something. Uh, I just never, never really uh, was around that kind of. Uh, uh, I think it goes back to we didn't have a TV set, mm. and uh, and because of that, I missed watching Charlie's Angels. And I think that that deep down is why I miss the whole, the whole thing. If you had only seen Charlie's culture. Angels. Had I only seen, I can see it now on like uh, Cozy TV, I think it's on Cozy. You get Cozy TV? I love Cozy, Cozy? TV. Yeah. I love the antenna. And antenna, and, and then Get TV is good. What's that one? G-E-T TV. Uh, get... They play movies, I think, or something. Do you know what channel it is? Uh, nah, you don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like 13, 14. Oh, like 13, 4 or something. Do you get any, uh, you just have over the air stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if, it might be 13.3 or something. It might. This one called Movies? Yeah, I don't know if that's, anyway. 7-2 to... is really good. Seven, yeah. The Live Well Network. Oh, man, yeah, those guys with the cooking, don't, don't they do the cooking show right here? Those two guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joey Fatone has a show, the guy from NSYNC. Oh really? Yeah, it's called oh. like, oh, God, what's it yeah. called? Like, like hot home recipes. Yeah. Like, like, that. <laughs> <laughs> like my awesome family I'll, recipe. I like create TV. Do you watch that? <laughs> the antenna is great. It's like I like that stuff. Yeah, it's it's. it's stuff. So I'm getting my I'm getting my cultural back. You know, I'm getting my Americana pop culture back. That's yeah. what's fun about after all these years. It's what's fun about the antenna is that you can re-experience TV yeah, the true. way it became the most dominant medium. Yeah, of yeah. Well, that era. was the infancy of it for the most part. Yeah, but yeah, you don't need to like have a TiVo. You just watch no, the TV. And, it could just come, come to your house. The commercials are the greatest. Well, you just flip. You just change the channel. That's well, yeah, know. okay, flip. But, but if you actually sat down and watched the commercials, and it's like uh, you know, Capitor and you know stuff like that. Doctor Billator. Uh, what's who's that? He is a doctor who's also an attorney that can get you disability. Oh. He knows about both. Okay, I didn't, I haven't seen that one. Have you seen all the commercials for, like, the colleges that advertise on TV? Oh, you mean, like, for, like, nursing schools? Like, Bryman. Oh. Um, do they still do Bryman? Blue. They still That's, like, ancient. <laughs> Bryman's school. was around for a long time. Yeah. I always wanted to uh, go to DeBry. Career college. I always wanted to get my MFA at DeVry University. So, DeVry. Or Liberty. How about Liberty University? That'd be good. Or Oral Roberts. Yeah. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. <laughs> Private Christian <laughs> University. Yeah. yeah. I, those commercials are great. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Dun, dun, yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. Some, I the guess way. that's in Phoenix. It looks cool. Yeah. I, could, I would go there. Just on watching that commercial. You could. The way um, all those colleges work, the reason they advertise so aggressively yeah. is they get you signed up and then they tell you how to get financial aid. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they the government just pay, is paying out millions yeah. and millions of dollars every year on these fake right, colleges. Right. And so there's laws they have to disclose, like placement rate and jobs and yeah. salary and stuff, but they still get a lot of people. Right. Kind of like those uh, art school of San Francisco or something like San Francisco <gasps> Institute of Art. Oh, yeah, yeah. The yeah, one where you like. And there's a, you draw all, a picture of the pirate and you send it in. And they, no, that's something else. But they're all over the country. There's like you want to say Pittsburgh about SMC, School yeah. Institute of Art or something. Yeah. You went to art school, right? You did yeah, like, the no, whole thing I, for I like several the years. Thing. What do you like, learn in art school? You just have time to do art? You Is know, that the point I, of it? Pretty much. In, I, in the ideal spectrum, I would say that's probably the best part about going to art school is you just make art. Um, and, and goof off but, mm. because in a way that's what you're supposed to do but uh, no no parent is really going to want to be you know forking over the bill or helping you know or having their kids go mm. there regardless if they're paying for it or not to you know go to art school for that purpose so they, they try to uh, give some sort of instruction you know and you think well obviously it benefited you because you've 
been a uh, professional artist for many years. I, maybe. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think I would have been good for much of anything else. So. Okay. Yeah. So it was inevitable. Yeah, I probably would have done it anyway. Maybe. But I think it gives you a little bit of a... Uh, it, it's sort of like... Uh, going to art school is sort of like the Twilight Zone, uh, that one episode where the, 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 guy, the girl is, uh, there's bandages on the girl and they, they say, oh, we're beautiful. sorry, we can't help you out. And then they, we send you away to some other place and some guy like James Dean shows up to take her away and she's a model, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, but the doctors are all like deformed patients. She's in the eye of the beholder. Is that what that is? That's the lesson of that one. Yeah, yeah. I like stuff that uh, teaches a lesson. Yeah, that's that's that's. Uh, I like that's one of my favorite uh, Twilight Zones. Another one of my favorite ones is uh, uh, a prisoner is uh, on a, a planet all by himself, and uh, so then every couple of twice a year or something, a, a, a spaceship comes by to drop off supplies, and so this one time he drops off like a blow up doll, and uh, so then he subsequently falls in love with the blow up doll and so when the guy comes back he says yeah great we got to take you back you know you, you, your time's up or whatever but you can't take the doll we don't have enough room so so what did he do i think he stayed <laughs> i think he, stayed he definitely he stayed he totally that's stayed. the whole point of the show i think so i think he stayed he didn't go back he didn't say oh bye lady no he, he's i think he stayed I, i'm not sure do you think that you're more known for your painting or for your visual art stuff? Uh, or is it the, the way you combine them? Uh, I tend to think that I'm probably more known for like the, the cable access stuff, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like more famous, obviously. But yeah, like, more famous, yeah. But, but I mean, because like, I remember like, when I first met you in the public access, yeah. you were just like, artist was like your job and the, the public access stuff was like your hobby yeah yeah that's and then true. at a certain point it kind of like it's, in some ways it's melded together it's yeah. melded like yeah but uh so you're doing like the like the landscapes and yeah, stuff yeah plein air right plein that, air that's what that's called yeah plein air yeah yeah I, I still do it it's good oh so you do still do stuff I, like that. I do they're good uh, they're like they're not bad i mean it's different than your other style i think it, but again there's sort of a weird meld going on it's kind of like uh uh you know, this is your brain on drugs and the egg, you know, on the frying pan. You know, it just, there's a connection somewhere. Just say no to drugs. <laughs> is that the connection? No, yeah, B basically. Just say no. Okay. You've gotten, I've noticed over the years, a lot better at kind of like the on the fly, more abstract portraits. Yeah. Uh, well, you, you do get better at it. Yeah, but you you get you got that down now. Mm. The one you did of me at the art yeah. gallery, I thought it looked a lot like me. It did kind of look like you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that rare though? Do they normally not? Uh, no, they always they're not much different than that. I mean, they're kind of just. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that kind of feeling. I just <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I think you're st one still battles with the. Uh, uh, the the general public i always feel like there's a battle with the general public when it or, or or the art public whatever it is the art viewer the viewers uh disregarding some of that spontaneity they, they don't see it mm -hmm. because they 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 don't understand it it's not that they don't see it well i guess they don't see it but they it's hard to understand it's much easier to understand uh some form of clarity and uh, precision craftsmanship so that's always a battle i think yeah but you have to kind of balance like wanting to be like different and kind yeah. of avant-garde and experimental yeah yeah with, exactly. but if it's too much like that well and i think i think you know th that all can come into play somewhere maybe maybe in time maybe maybe in my lifetime i don't know it's, uh, uh, so you have a lot of obviously great memories at the public access studio yes. but then there's yeah. many many years of your show that you're just doing out of your house yes do you have any good memories of that or did those <laughs> no. just all those just all kind of blend together right but yeah well i guess I'm, taken out of the studio doing the show in your you know backyard or you know in your closet is not the same yeah mm -hmm. it's uh, 
it, you know, like this is a wonderful because you, you, a you got the these people helping you put stuff together, and you know someone else is helping you out. Uh, but when it's all you and you're in charge of doing all the taping and More you tried some of that too, right? We started. We shot the Del Talk show at my house actually on Sunday. Okay. Like a new, totally scripted version of it. Okay. I, was that with Dirk and stuff? Mm -hmm. He showed up. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how was it? Okay. It was. Yeah. It went well. I have to edit it together. See how it like all yeah, kind of looks. Is it a out, pain looks, in but I've gotten better at it though. Yeah. But definitely the vibe. How do you of, do it? Do you like? Do you have two like VHS decks? That you go <laughs> no, we shot this all on HD. And then we oh. just line up the oh. three, we slated it, and just line it up the three in Final Cut. And okay. then you just cut it like you would a movie okay. or something, where it's just the so, three. So you're able to uh, sync all the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it a full half hour show? Or? No, they're like a little mini episodes, like a minute. It's called the Del Talk Show Dollar Menu. Oh, nice. So all the taste. One minute? <laughs> that's what everyone says. Like, why is a dollar a minute? <laughs> but like, the script's like a page Not and a half, so it's going to be short. Oh. But. Um, yeah, why would a dollar be a minute? An hour? How much is an hour? Oh, the Del Talk Show hour menu. A hundred. How much would that? A hundred like? minutes. I don't know. Yeah, it's not sixty minutes. It doesn't. But it's funny how people like do that. So if it's in the minute range, that'd be good. But it was nice being able to a like a minute and a half. Then I see. I think if it's under two minutes, people will just see the one. Yeah. I, I gotta say. Um, people love one minute and they love one dollar. They do. It's hot. Hot, well, when I was doing numbers. the fast food paintings, I originally was doing the paintings at burger prices, you know, and fries, you know, for, mm -hmm. I quickly got out of that, you know, quickly moved on, raised the price. Yeah, we got to upsell them on the, yeah. the drinks and the so, chicken nuggets. Uh, but I, I wanted, actually, with that fast food painting stuff, I wanted to, to get on the shark tank with that. Did you apply to Shark Tank? I, I don't know. I tried. I sent him an email. Don't know. <laughs> I, I sent him an email. But I, okay. I don't think I did. I didn't go through the right channels. Got it. Yeah. I, and probably they wouldn't have had me on. Anymore. I don't think, yeah, <laughs> Mark Cuban would not have been amused at nah, all. they would not. They would not. They would have just been, like, there's like, nothing proprietary about this. They'd be like, what's your evaluation? Uh, how many, how many uh, items yeah, have you sold? What are your past? sales? Yeah, what are your sales? They're always going like this. That's when yeah. people who are rich, when they think about money, they Is touch right? their fingertips, yeah. They look like they're wearing the same clothes this, every episode or yeah, something. Yeah, they probably just shoot a bunch in one yeah, day. They're, that, not, like one they're girl, busy. That one girl, she has the same Lori. particular, her breast thing with the little, showing her um, whatever cleavage, and it has the little special, like a, a strip of, I, it seems like she's wearing that every episode. Of course, I, why am I noticing that? I wonder why. Well, they're sharks. They're very busy. They yeah, don't yeah, even yeah. have time to change their clothes to pretend like they're different I, days. Well, they should have done something. Maybe maybe just got like some... I think they're in accessories. They could have accessorized Damon, yeah. or something. You know? <laughs> Damon should have... One of them should invest in Shark Tank. Yeah. That'd be a great twist. I like how there's no host on Shark Tank. There, there should it's be. Just the, no, it's just the sharks. Who should... Uh, who could be the... Uh, the host I would think doesn't uh, the sharks are they would eat the host the sharks would eat the host they circle it's just like a real shark tank where you get in it and then they give you money if they like you yeah in Japan the show is called tiger of money yeah and it's an actual show yeah yeah, yeah. they have it all over the world the same format wow rich people investing in entrepreneurs yeah Oh, oh, I see, but it's not an actual shark tank with, with people get in, in no. with an actual shark. No. Oh, I thought that was a show in Japan. No. All right. That, they have Shark Week. That, yeah, that's good, but I thought it was an <laughs> actual good. contest. I guess that wouldn't be too safe, I guess. But they do weird stuff in Japan. Yeah, it seems I want to go to Japan real bad. Have you applied for any of these shows? or? Do you have a reality show? Yeah. No. no you I always, every time I watch one, I always think like... Um, like, oh man, what would I do if I was in this situation? Like when I watched yeah. The Real World? Yeah. And then I quickly remember, it's like, oh, this would never happen to me. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. I would never send an audition tape in. Right. I applied with some of those. Really? Yeah, but I never got never, it. Never. Yeah. So every once in a while, they'll, they'll cast somebody like us as like an oddball. I know. Yeah. On it. Like Count yeah. Smokey Lowe's on Blind Date. Oh, was he? Did you ever see that? Maybe I might have, yeah. Yeah. Blind Date was a great show at the time. Blind Date, wait. Was that the one where they had little bubbles? Yeah. <laughs> Therapist yeah. Joe says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that with uh, Roger... Uh, Roger Lodge. Roger Lodge. He's all buff. 
Is he? Yeah, he's like a little, little like beefcake guy. Yeah, he does. A, I think he does a radio show now. Oh, really? Sports, sports. Huh. Good for him. Yeah. I always thought he was a fine host. I thought he did. I thought it was excellent. Excellent host. And then yeah. So you know, you know, you, would you like to be a host yourself? Or, I, I, mean, I think I already am. You, I know, but I mean, would you like to? Like a third show? Some kind of actual money-making operation. Well, obviously, yeah. Yeah. So maybe you but could be the Shark Shark Tank host. The host <laughs> come in there, <laughs> boss. They'd eat boss you the up, man. They would. Just, they'd be like, I wouldn't, oh my God. They're like, you're not a you millionaire or billionaire investor. Is if you notice, like, how many shows have you done uh, in this sort of uh, Here? setup? Yeah. This is the fifth official show. I see. If you notice that when you have their guest, do, do, is there a lot of symmetry in the the way we? Position ourselves, or oh, you know, you know I haven't. If I do a little scratch, with I, scratch. I haven't noticed that. That's really weird. Well, I do you I, think I'm that that happen? Just okay. Yeah. <laughs> How long does this show go for? Because it seems like we're just. Is this just go for like twenty four hours or something? Because yeah, it sure mm-hmm. feels like it. Yeah, time takes a holiday. Where's here. the clock? Do I have a? An There's option? no what clock. It just goes forever. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I guess we could talk about right? something else. So. I think we've been talking about a lot of these, I, those things. I don't know. I've been holding back. You've been holding back? Yeah, because I, I didn't know what the time, you know. Oh, I wanted well, what to save you... my funny stuff for the later. Okay. All right. Well, you know, if we, we've been told to wrap it up now. Oh, well, we have. Okay. I guess, I, uh, I, I, yeah, you know, you complain shoot. too much and they're taking the show away. Man. This could have been forever. Darn it. You never needed another pain Is again. there another show after this? Or yeah. This, this is it. There is another show. Mm-hmm. What, what was after this? Do you know? It's called Talk Good. Talk Good. Yeah. So is the guest, uh, the host already but here already? I don't know. He might be. He usually uh, shows up. There's usually about a ten minute gap between I the shows. See. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So you know, if you want to do any of that funny stuff, you promised. Uh, I, I, you know, I, you got me on the spot. I really oh, don't okay. have anything at the moment. But I, I really, uh, I got a couple of giggles out of it. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. laughing. So I was on your, real quick, I was on your Facebook page today, you got a Kickstarter going for new equipment uh, stuff? Yeah, new, a new Kickstarter, um, and uh, it's for a new audio mixer. Cool. Yeah, and uh, so I was just trying to get 50 bucks. That's all you need? That's all I needed. Do you have it yet? Yeah, 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 we went, okay, we, we went uh, 400% over. Great. Yeah, we're at like $200. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, good. Well, if you would want, to, want him to get a really super audio mix, well, I already I went in and bought it anyway. Okay, cool. But uh, but um, I'm I'm still taking uh, uh, money uh, donations, and there's some wonderful rewards. I don't. Can we talk about this here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, because I don't know if that's like appropriate or not. No, go on, go on John's Cable Kickstarter. Access, you can't, you know. Yeah, this is drone box, baby. All right. Well, anyway, so uh, I, it's a it's still uh, some great rewards available for uh, supporting Let's Paint TV. Okay, well, I hope you all do support Let's Paint TV for years to come because it's not going anywhere. It'll never end. But, John, thank you very much for being on the show. Thanks for having uh, me. We can shake hands. It's cool. Oh, oh all right. It's all right. Uh, cool. Uh, join me next week, same time, 10.05. But until then, this is Adam Papp again, reminding you that there's a place you can go, and it's your mind. See you next week, everyone.